Today's tutorial is about web design and web development. Have you ever been to a website just like this where they have an image gallery and you pretty much click on a thumbnail and the screen darkens and loads an image in front of you and it has a little X like that at the bottom and you can just close it, click on different ones and same thing happens again. So I'm going to teach you today how to do that with a tool called Shadowbox. You can download this from www.shadowbox-js.com or just search Shadowbox in Google. Now before we actually implement this, we're going to go to Dreamweaver which I'm building my site in and basically on the desktop here I have a root folder, obviously, with all my files. I have an images folder. Make sure all your images that you want are in there, including the thumbnails and the full scale image. Uh, then uh, obviously your your HTML page and your style sheet if you need it. We're not really going to be using the style sheet, but uh, yeah, so make sure you have those things. Now we're going to open the page up in Dreamweaver. You can see I have some basic text here, uh, and we're going to quickly go back to the Shadowbox website and download Shadowbox. So hit download, and uh, you can see it gives you a few options here. It says select the players for the types of content you want to display. So this is going to be pretty much what you're going to display on your website. So are you going to be linking to images, e external sites, uh, dynamic HTML, flash, flash video, QuickTime, or Windows Media? So I'm just going to select all of them because you never know when you might need to actually use those in your website. And uh, keep include support for using CSS selectors selected. And we're going to just click the zip version. And you can see the current version is 3.03 and we're going to save it to the desktop it's done and then uh, we're going to minimize that window uh, you can see the zip files on the desktop, we're going to open it up it's unzipped itself, just going to delete the zip file, we don't really need it now uh, then we're going to open up the shadow box folder and our root folder and from there we're going to copy all of this content here from the shadow box folder uh, all the Java, JavaScript files, all the images, all the SWFs and all that we're going to copy them right into our root folder just like that then once you do that you can actually delete the shadow box uh, you can delete the shadow box uh, folder from your desktop so we've deleted the shadow box folder and you can see now in our root folder we have all these files here including our style sheet and including our HTML document and images folder so we're going to go to Dreamweaver open up the index.html page or whatever page you're having your gallery on or whatever you want to link to the image and uh, I'm just going to insert an image and uh, obviously it's going to take you to your root folder I'm going to go to the images folder uh, and actually I'm going to insert the image one thumb so this is our little thumbnail right here we've got a little thumbnail but one step before we actually uh, link this to Shadowbox, we're going to go back to the Shadowbox website at shadowbox-js.com and we're going to hit the usage uh, button and to set Shadowbox up there's a bit of code that we need to know but luckily they give us the script so we can just copy and paste it which is really good. Uh, it's really nice, we're going to copy this uh, top part here uh, we're going to copy and paste it, and this will have to go into our header um, which uh, of our actual HTML uh, document. So we're going to go back to the HTML document. We're going to go to our code view, or you can use your split view. We're going to go into the header of our document, and we're just going to copy and paste all that code into it. it. So this is pretty much just telling the website whenever you click on a thumbnail and it relates back to Shadowbox, uh, it's just linking it so it knows how uh, it should darken the screen and load up the image in front of you. So go back to our split view, and once we have uh, that uh, in our header, we can now uh, link our little thumbnail image here to Shadowbox. So we are going to uh, select the thumbnail. And at the link, uh, at the link over here, we're just going to link it. Go back to our images, and since this was image one thumb, so I'm gonna. This is the actual image one is the full resolution image. So I'm just going to hit choose, and you can see it's got a little blue border around it because it's obviously linking to it. Now in the code over here, 
where uh, we've actually got our href to our image, our link to our image. We're just going to go here where it says uh, href images or images dash image one because it's in the images folder. So we're not going to go to the image source. We're going to go to the href, the a ref, sorry, a href, and we're going to uh, just put a space after the after the uh, image file location, and we're going to type in rel, so obviously relative, and then equals, open quotation marks, and type in shadow box, close quotation marks. So pretty much what your string will say once it's linked is uh, a href equals images, so that's obviously the images folder, slash image1, which is the full resolution image, uh, and then it'll say uh, rel equals shadow box, close quotation, and then it will have the image source, the actual little thumbnail. And then once we do that, we are going to save. We're going to preview this in our browser, which we're going to bring up here. And you can see now, this is what it looks like in our browser, and we hover over it, click it, and Shadowbox loads it up in front of us. It's really cool. Uh, it works really well uh, for images. It also works for video, like you've seen. Uh, when you download it, it asks you if you want to use it for video or external sites or Flash. I'll show you what it looks like if you link it to an external site. So right now, where we've got it linked to our full res resolution image, inside those qu quotation marks where it uh, links to our images folder and our actual image, we're just going to type in a URL. Now remember the URL has to actually start with HTTP. You can't just put www because it will think you're uh, linking to a actual folder in the root folder which you're not. So make sure it says HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and I'm just going to link it to uh, let's say google.com.au and then close quotation marks which is already there. Save it. We're going to preview it again and then when we click it, this time it will load up Google. So obviously this is great if you want to, uh, if you have like a web gallery like I do on my um, my website, and uh, I want to show clients that I have actually uh, done some other websites in my portfolio. So I just link the thumbnail of the of the uh, website, an image of the thumbnail, uh, link it to the actual website through Shadowbox. So it's really easy to use and remember you can use it for like I said flash files, uh, videos, all that sort of stuff so check it out uh, remember go to Shadowbox I believe it was just go to Google I guess and type in Shadowbox should be and uh, anyway with Google Instant nowadays you can pretty much get it very quickly so just Shadowbox easy comes up first search result Shadowbox.js and that's it. Easy does it. So this is Daniel uh, showing you guys how to implement Shadowbox into your websites. So I hope to see some awesome websites out there now with Shadowbox. See you later, guys.